To begin making a bathtub with T-splines for Rhino, we started by laying out four Rhino NURBS curves, you can see with a relatively small number of control points on each curve. To create the initial surface, use the Rhino loft command and select the curves in order. There's a few different loft options. Here we'll use the straight sections option, hit OK. And we've created a Rhino polysurface. To convert this to T-spines, we'll first explode the polysurface, so it will be individual NURB surfaces. Then using the T-spines convert to T-spine option, just select these surfaces and hit enter. So now these are T-spine surfaces. And I'll go ahead and select the curves and delete them to get them out of the way. Next, we will merge these T-spines together so that we can get um, a single smooth surface. We'll do that by turning on the T-spines edit mode, then selecting the edges, marquee selecting two edges here, and that's one edge on each surface. Then using the selection menu, select the whole edge loop on each surface, then hit the merge edges command. That will merge both of those surfaces into a single smooth T-spline. We'll do that again, marquee select with crossing selection to select an edge on both surface, both surfaces, then select the whole edge loop, and then hit the merge edges button, and we have uh, merged that successfully together. So now we have a single T-spine that's smoothly joined here. Unfortunately, you can remember that this used to be joined at right angles, and a lot of that definition has been washed out by the merge. To add back some definition, we just need to add back more control points in the surface. Here's a look at all the control points. You can see there's not very many. Um, and we just need to add some more control points back so that the surface will, will be tighter. Uh, the easiest way to do that is to go to edge mode and use the insert edge command. So I'll just double click on an edge to, to select the whole edge loop here. And then use the insert edge command by right clicking there. There's a few options. We'll leave the simple insertion type option on and change both sides to on. So now we're inserting an edge on both sides of that initial edge. You can do this freehand. So I'll just click here and it will insert an edge on both sides. You can see how that's really tightened up the surface there. Another way, let me uh, double click here to uh, select this other edge and we'll add some more detail here as well. Um, Going back in the insert edge command, we can also uh, type an exact percentage here. So if I type 0.1, it will insert edges 10% um, of the way parametrically, parametrically on each of those edges. So we've added back some some detail in the T-spline. Let me just change my perspective, my my viewport shading. And so now we've got some nice detail here, but here we've got too much detail. It's pinched because we have the isoparms running all the way across the T-spline. Now that's necessary for our NURBS, but in T-splines we can actually delete edges that we don't want in the model. and It'll smooth the model out. So, we'll do, so I will do crossing selection again. Select those edges and just hit delete. You can see how that just removes them and smooths out the model while keeping the definition here. Let me uh, select these edges as well and I can just hit delete. And again, we've smoothed out the model where we don't need the definition and we can still move the T-spline here or those T-points and it will deform smoothly. So now we've created half the model and um, if I were to do this in NURBS, I could probably just mirror the model, throw in a bottom and fill it to finish the bathtub. But with T-spines, we have options to make the model more organic by just creating the whole thing as a single editable T-spline. To do that, we'll add on the bottom, and I'll just double click here to select that edge loop, and then use the extrude command to extrude uh, that edge down. You can see it's added a new edge loop there, so I can pull this one down now, change the manipulator to scale, scale, drag this middle box to scale in 3D to kind of pull the, the bottom in a little bit. Then let me just um, extrude these three edges one more time. Hit the extrude button. This time I will pull uh, this axis to pull them perpendicular to the surface to add a bottom to my surface. 
Now I also need some bottom here in this corner region and I'll do that using the append faces command. First though I'll switch to box mode. So currently we are in the smooth mode. I can click the smooth toggle to switch to box mode. That just helps me um, kind of understand the topology of my surface better. And that's what I prefer to do when I do things like adding faces. So I'll enter the append face command, collect the T-spline, and then it says to click the first point of the face, which will just be a corner. The second point of the face will be just another corner, just clicking on the corners here. And then I'll just, no, no need to click here again, just hit enter. And I've added that face there. I'll repeat that here. So append face, click on the T-spline, and then just click on the corners to add the face. Click the smooth toggle to go back to the smooth mode. And you can see now I've got a smooth T-spline, even now it's non-rectangular. And I can still, of course, uh, edit my model. And it'll be nice and smooth. Next thing to do is to use the T-spline symmetry command to add symmetry to this model. At first, though, I need to have a straight axis, and that is not a straight axis there. So what I'll do is I will uh, double-click to select the the edge loop there. Then I'll change my selection to control points and use a rhino command to project all those control points to the C plane. The command's called project to C plane. We'll just type that here. Project to C plane. Uh, delete objects. Yes, but first I'll go in the right view because this is the C plane I want to project to. And now you can see that that's projected all those control points straight along that C plane. Now to add symmetry, just click the symmetry icon, and I click the T-spline, and we will turn on symmetry, X symmetry, because that's the uh, way we want symmetry to be across, and hit enter. Now we have symmetry in our model, which you can tell by the green line running down the, the symmetry axis. So now whenever I um, move something on one side of the model, it will update on the other side of the model symmetrically. Now I can add more detail to my model. So if I want to add steps to the tub, I can um, use the insert edge command again. We've seen we've seen this command before, and just click on. Let's see. Looks like I'm still in face mode. Um, let me exit this. Go to ed, go to edge mode. That works a little bit easier with the insert edge command. Select an edge loop to um, be duplicated. Hit enter. And it uh, looks like I still have the both sides. And let me turn that off, so I'm just inserting on the one side. And I'll insert here. You can see that since I have symmetry on it, it inserts on the other side of the symmetry as well. I'll insert a few more edges to add some detail so that we can put some steps here in the tub. So now with this, these extra edges, you can see they're just local edges. They don't continue across the whole model. I can move these around to give some more definition and add some nice soft steps here to my tub. Let me just finish by, by turning on another layer. And what this has is, um, is a trim NURBS shape. And I'd like to match the T-spline to the trimmed NURBS. And I can do that by using the T-spline's match surface command. Double click on this edge and hit enter. Then I need to look at the uh, little white control point that's, that appears and click on the edge I want it to match just nearby that control point. I have options of continuity. I'll do curvature continuity. And if I say that I want to refine the model, then it will add more detail, but it will refine the surface to within surface tolerance, within file tolerance. This will disable symmetry, but um, now you can see the T-spines is matched right up to that NURBS in a nice smooth way. So I can still uh, move points on surface uh, points or faces on my model. Finally, I can convert the T-spines to NURBS by clicking on the Convert to Rhino NURBS icon and then uh, join the T-spline polysurface with the other polysurface, and now I have a single watertight polysurface for my tub.